this rascal documentary is mostly geared towards industrial hygienists and introducing the idea of a dust sensor network. But for those who are not familiar with industrial hygiene, I'm gonna to refer to Theodore Hatch back in 1960. He explained it this way, and I'm gonna paraphrase. An industrial hygienist is a professional, very important that we understand that, who comes principally from physical sciences and engineering. All right, science background, we're based on logic and fact and data. Uh, we collaborate with doctors and medical scientists. We have a joint responsibility to maintain the health, productivity, and well-being of the employee. And let's not forget the product productivity part. Um, but again, we are, we are collaborators and we fill an important part of the mission in keeping employees healthy and safe. All right, I'll also call your attention to this article here. Educate the individual to a sane appreciation of the risk. And I want to zero in on this statement here from a judge. This was some kind of workers comp or liability case um, with a, um, someone who suffered from a disease. And this has been known for quite a while, or accepted for quite a while. It was the duty, it was the duty of the defendant company to exercise reasonable care that the place in which it set the deceased at work should be reasonably safe for the plaintiff and free from latent dangers known to the defendant company or discoverable by an ordinary prudent master under the circumstances. And I interpret this as an industrial hygienist could certainly be a, a ordinary prudent master in this case and silicosis is well known it is the duty of the company to employ industrial hygienists um, to discover these kind of hazards in the workplace. Okay, I wanna explain the documentary logo here. This green graph here that's going down, this is silicosis cases reported in Michigan from 1987 to 2020. And we see that the uh, cases have dropped significantly, partly due to industrial hygiene and the work of others. This graph here is from the mining industry, and this is the prevalence of co-workers' pneumokinesis from 1975 to 2015. And if you're not aware, there's been a jump up of disease prevalence um, that many blame due to silica exposure. So the question this documentary has, if you look at Texas statistics, whether you look at hospitalization rate due to silicosis, or death due to silicosis from 2004 to 2019. Um, it's been low and even dropping more. But the question is in the coming years, are we gonna see an uptick in silicosis cases in the stone countertop industry um, now that we've had the scare in Australia and we've had uh, silicosis cluster clusters in uh, Texas and California and, and Colorado? Okay, I'm going to give you a little preview of the Rascal system. Um, it's a real-time dust detection system, and basically the idea here is, is we have a sensor in the shop that communicates through Wi-Fi to a dashboard on the internet, and so we can remotely monitor the dust levels, and we can kind of qualify the dust levels based on the amount and we can have an idea just looking at the graphs what's going on in the shop. And one of the great benefits of this is if we have an unexpected or out of order event, um, some kind of upset condition, um, we can not only see it but have an alarm. Reduce what goes on in a, in a granite fabrication shop. And I'm learning as we go along and the thing to understand is uh, we use water and we use air. If we didn't use either of these, our employees would be above the Pell. But even using, even using water and air um, still could put us above the action level and below the Pell. So the Rascal system is designed to oversee all of this. Um, it, it can see if, if they are using water or air. 
um, but it also depends on the tools. So some tools that they use are going to create more dust and put us more into this box here, this above the action level, below the Pell. Distance matters a great deal, and I can't wait to get into that subject. Um, but there's some sometimes some in, unintuitive results and things going on there. So the spacing between the individuals as well as the orientation matters. Um, of course, the big buzz with the engineered stone, and it has so much more silica. The quartz percentage in the dust, of course, matters and um, could be the difference between above the action level or clear. Housekeeping is a controversial one. I think a lot of people put a lot of weight into the cleanliness of the environment. I'm not sold on that yet. Um, I'm going to introduce eventually cleared, this idea of a control limit expressed as average respirable dust. Um, but for now, I'm just teasing it here. Um, this uh, documentary is going to go into detail, lessons learned, things learned about implementing a real-time dust detection system in a stone fabrication shop, as well as the work I did in construction um, with more of a portable dust monitor. So I, I hope you enjoy this and let's get into 